Remove the lug bolts and lift off the front wheel. Slide the brake line and rubber grommet off the suspension. Break loose the fitting where the hard line meets the OEM rubber line on the chassis. Remove the bracket from the chassis and then finish disconnecting the fitting. Quickly slide on the new chassis bracket and brake line fitting with the cap. Install the new chassis bracket using the OEM bolt. Secure the fitting using the provided clip. Unbolt the OEM caliper and slide it off. Remove the rotor. Unbolt the factory dust shield to allow clearance for your new brake components. Clean the hub so your new wheelwood components can bolt up without any interference. Install the hat registration ring with the bevel facing outward. Line up the caliper bracket and thread in the bolts. Tighten down the bolts and torque them to spec. Place the rotor over the hat with a washer over each hole. Apply red Loctite to the threads of the bolts. Tighten down the bolts in a crisscross pattern and torque them to spec. Secure the hat and rotor assembly so you can properly align the caliper. Place two shims on the caliper mounting studs. Prep the 90 degree brake line fitting with thread tape and thread it into the caliper body. The outlet should be in line with the caliper body facing up. Install two shims onto the mounting studs. Slide the caliper on, on the bracket. Install one washer and nut onto the threads of the studs. Torque the nuts to spec. Install the brake pads through the top of the caliper. Secure the pads with the provided pins and E-clips. Make sure the E-clips are secure in their recesses. Look through the caliper body to ensure the rotor is centered. If adjustments are needed, you can add or subtract shims from between the spindle and caliper bracket. The edge of the pad should be even with the edge of the rotor. You can make any adjustments by adding or subtracting shims on the caliper studs. Connect the Wheelwood Flex Line brake line into the fitting at the caliper. Route the line following the route the OEM brake line followed, including where it connects to the suspension. Connect the other end of the line to the hard line. The new components are now complete. However, you are not done with installation. You must properly bleed and bed in your new brake system before taking it onto the streets.